all the viewers welcome to trinity english and today we are going to view word formation part 1 this is about word formation how words are formed in english and how the words are categorized into different categories today we are going to view about it word as a meaningful building block of the language and word as a meaningful building block mean that words can merge into sentence as a building blocks we think of words as the basic units of language but in fact that it is not to say that a sentence must always consist of more than one word if we are supposed to say a sentence it is not just one word that means at least we should have two words one subject and one verb and here word formation refers to the ways in which new words are formed on the basis of other words this is also known as derivational morphology the formation of longer more complex words from shorter simpler words is called as word formation here we have two types of word formation first one is productive words and the second one is non productive words here we shall learn about the kind of productive words first one is affixation here under the affixation we have two kinds of affixation one is prefixation or in some other words we call it as prefix and next one is suffixation or suffix and the second one is composition or compound words third one conversion and fourth one graphical abbreviation or acronym and here first one is affixation affixation is the forming of new words with the help of affixes and here as i told you affix includes prefixes and suffixes prefix and suffix both are called as affixes if you look at the word cook if you say uncook it is a prefix if you say cooked if it is suffix and if you both together combine it is called as affix called as uncooked and first one is prefixation and as prefixation we have process of making new words by adding prefixes to the base words a base word is a word without any addition to the verb the primary words are known as the base words and here there are different kinds of verb prefixation or different kinds of prefixes the first one is prefixes of negation when we add negative tags to the words base words that are called as prefixes of negation and here if you look at this words un miss non be mal pseudo ab in il all these pre additions or prefixes the simple meaning of prefix is to fix before pre means before and here when you say un unhappy untried you get so many other words and here miss misfortune misuse and next we have non nonsense and non teaching and here d demerit deactivate we have mal mal function mal nutrition pseudo here we have pseudo drama and pseudo democracy and ab abnormal and abatial and uh, next one in inability and insufficient here ir irregular and irresponsible next we go with the prefixes of attitude here we have the different uh, prefixes of attitude first one is anti anti party and anti social next one is pro pronoun and proactive and the third one is co who exists and co pilot and the fourth one is counter and counter attack here and counter march next we go with 
prefixes of number there are different kinds of number basically we get all this kind of number system in mathematics here we have uni uni means single uni natural and uni color second one is di or bi which means two bi annual and bi cycle tri means three triangle and tri cycle and quad means four here quadrangle and quadruplet and then a tetra tetrameter and tetra cycle and here pent and here pent means five so pentagon and pentameter and the next one is deca decameter and decasyllabic and next one we have deci decimeter and decibel and next we have multi which means multiracial and multinational next we go with the prefixes of emphasizing degree here we have super mini hyper over out less infra ultra supra and sub we go ahead with the examples supermarket and superman mini bus mini van hyperactive hypersensitive over to overloaded out number outspoken less important less beautiful here we have infra which means below which means infrastructure and infrared and here also means which is beyond ultraviolet and ultrasound here we have supra which means greater than and here supranational and supramolecular and here sub we have sub which means under subtopic and subnormal here we have a prefixes of location or direction here we have pre which means before prepaid and preschool and next we have post which means after we say post today or post paid and next one we are going to discuss about suffixation the word suffix comes from the latin word which means fasten underneath which means to tie after and here suffix or postfix which is also called as is a group of letters added to the end of a base form here we have different kinds of suffixes or suffixation we have two kinds of uh, suffixes derivational suffix and uh, inflectional suffix now let us discuss about derivational suffix derivational suffixes are the words which talk about the type of word what it is and here we have uh, the addition of ly words and uh, the addition of ab ly words and we have ate we have ful here izd nass ness and ery am y ary mlt sifol and ish we have slowly taxable passionate colorful modernize and whiteness greenery arrival victory dictionary treatment division and greenish here we have inflectional suffix which means tell something about the words grammatical behavior how they behave according to the grammar here changing singular to plural that is one which means dog and dogs adding of this s here and here changing from present form to past form which means walk walked we add ed forms to the regular verbs and here we talk about past participle which is also called a v3 form in the verb forms so here we have eat and eaten and next we go with a continuous or progressive addition where we add ing form which is also called as present participle and here we also go ahead with the comparative degree where we add er and uh, we go ahead with superlative degree where we add est if you like my content please subscribe like share and comment thank you one and all that's all for today meet you in part 2